What up, what up, what up? It's Friday. Meets on Sunday, so we're down here to get tuned up. I'm actually feeling pretty good. Um, shoulders a little tight from last Sunday's bench, I still think, at West Side. Prep was good this week, got some rest. Um, trying to think, I need to shave. Uh, Alex, what do you think? How are you feeling? Feeling all right. Kind of rested up. First meet. First meet. First Ready meet ever. Yeah. You, you seem like a seasoned vet, though, because you're the one that introduces the nose tour. Yeah. Ah! I, I don't need, I don't, I'm not too worried about it. I'm ready to yeah. go though. I haven't lifted in a couple days. I know my body's ready to go. I've been waking up at like regular time. We go to the gym, force myself to go back to sleep. So. Just anyway. Ready Dude, to go. I, listen, I'm gonna show you guys something. I'm, I'm ready. Oh. Ah. What's going on? Dude, we got an entire bag of nose oh, torque. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's still so. You can smell it through the bag. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. All right, it's time to get time to get tuned up. What? I mean, YouTube star Dr. Tyler Kelly. Oh, please. <laughs> You're famous after last night. <laughs> What's up, Dr. Kelly here. Uh, we have a mass effort mobility Friday. Uh, so, continuation of last uh, last week, we did we did the lateral recumbent. We did the uh, what's the other? shin box. So, lateral recumbent. We're talking about having you go down an air squat. Let me show this again. You go down an air squat, and we have a pinch your hip on one side. You know, you're warming up. This is kind of like how do we build a better squat segment uh, in our warm up. Uh, you can see I feel a little bit more tension on my right side, which is, it was kind of odd considering this is my ACL side. So um, what I would do is I feel some more tension, more internal pressure here in my ankle, a little bit more tightness. I would put that side down, and we go to this lateral recumbent here. This is not a side bridge, okay? This is like a deadlift, a hip hinge, okay? You can see I'm kind of stuck in this this uh, triple flexion position here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically go into extension, loading, creating that more stability in that lateral line, posterior lateral line, and that way we'll create more mobility in our hip that's pinching, okay? So we're gonna do this guy, five or 10, come up baby, reassess, yeah, feel a little bit better there, all right? That's what you should probably do. You wanna always try to get the, so if we're training, we wanna make sure that our ground is a little bit more fertile to plan on, I guess. So we wanna make sure we get the soil ready, all right? So this is gonna help us kind of get a hip more functionally uh, so that when we go into our squat, we put a bunch of load on top of a better moving hip. We're gonna get better results, okay? The other one that we talked about, just to kind of go through, is doing the shin box position, creating internal rotation here and external rotation here. Tall spine, up, and then lifting back almost to create extension here in the pelvis, loading the glutes, okay? We 
that both sides. Make sure you figure out where you're bad at. If you're bad at it, spend more time there. Correct, correct, correct exercise. Um, don't spend a lot of time on things you're already good at. It's, uh, it's a waste of time in your warm up. Um, I don't want you guys warming up for 45 minutes. If I teach you something, you do 100 of each one. And do five, see where you're good, see where you're bad. And spend time where you're bad. All right? Get your body prepped uh, going into your list. We worked with Corey for a number of years on, on the same idea. He does certain exercises, he programs certain little movements in your uh, get stack plans. And in a way, you don't know you're helping yourself uh, be a better lifter by um, continuing to be a good athlete with good mobility, good stability um, prior to lifting big lifts, big compound movements. So the one I want to hit you with today um, is talking more about like loading uh, an ankle that might be stiff. Um, you notice that it's kind of hard finding the bottom of your squat, you find ankle mobility, maybe some tight shins. You just don't really feel comfortable in the bottom. So we're going to spend some more time in the bottom. So one thing I like to do that I've started adopting for myself is I like to use um, this, uh, this bolster here, this yoga bolster. Um, and how we're going to use this, this thing's just simple, get one off of Amazon, like 20, 30 bucks, whatever. But you can use pillows, you can use cushions on your couch, it doesn't have to be too fancy. Most of the equipment and things we need to do don't require expensive equipment. Right? But um, what we're going to do, obviously barefoot, I've got patience waiting on me, I'm not going to kick off my shoes, but barefoot here. Um, warming up your squat, maybe just drop it down into your position here, right, you use the wall, and we're kind of trying to bring the butt onto the heels, and this is kind of, obviously this is maybe mimic your powerlifting position, but this mimics maybe a functional resting squat position, you know, once upon a time, squats were supposed to be a resting position, so uh, we don't spend a lot of time there now, so it's good for us from a functional hip standpoint to maybe come down here and spend a little bit of time uh, getting comfortable in this position. So heels want to be moving. When we flat with our heels, our foot needs to be gripping the ground. What I'm going to do is, and here we're in a high mobility position, creating hopefully some stretch and some, you know, figuring out how to get comfortable in this position. And now is a good time to breathe in this position first. Be able to breathe, bring air down to your abdomen, and that teaches your body to control this position. When we breathe in position, we can control the position, okay? We own the position, I guess we should say. So whenever we're doing mobility, make sure we can breathe there. Breathe here first. If you like overhead stuff, you can maybe work on overhead stability. Um, I'm sure you can incorporate a dowel rod or a barbell if you're really fancy and want to get into this point and you want to do some Olympic lifting. But even just being here, Spending time is a good thing. Now the thing that I'm not just telling you to sit on pillows and say that's the mobility of the week. The thing that's going to be a little thing that I want us to start working on this week, tall spine, arms here, and I just want us to rock into our ankles to help teach our brain how to load our ankles appropriately if we're having trouble in the bottom of our squat, loading our ankles. Our shins almost need to get to have a good functional air squat where we can drop down and put uh, heels on. Everyone's a little bit different in uh, anatomy, um, just the way that they distribute, distribute their body weight, but also what ranges of motion each joint is capable of. The big thing we want to make sure that we do is we want to rock our knees so that our knees can make it over almost, our goal is to make three or four inches over our toes just in this position. This is a safe position and we're not loaded fully on it. So our brain should not be as scared in this position, which would normally make us tight, okay? So here, loading, and just walking back and forth, just subtly, teach your brain and your ankles this isn't that scary, okay? This will help our ankles um, be a little bit more pliable in the longer squat, it'll help our track and groove a little bit better, and I think ultimately it'll protect our low backs, okay? Um, I guess the last thing to do with this, combining this movement, maybe in the two other ones, is a good way to start um, combining mobility and stability exercises. Um, the other thing that we can do in the bottom here is if you want to learn, if you want to be a better athlete, is sitting in this position and also creating rotation, reaching. 
and you all angels. Okay? And this helps your body not be too fearful in this position. Okay? So simple stuff, it doesn't have to be too fancy. These are just things that we can do to warm up, load, want to try these ones out. I like both of these. I think I think when people get hurt, these are great ones to help bring them back. Um, but a lot of people that struggle on the bottom, this one seems to be a big one, just the rocking. Rocking, is, and I guess if you want to relate it back to uh, developmental um, uh, neurology, babies a lot of times will begin rocking before they actually start crawling. And you'll see them in the position of one that, and it's actually teaching their brain how to load bilaterally before they ever go into that. So there is some uh, regressiveness to this that will help make gains in squat, in heavy squats. Um, if you don't own it at this level, you're probably not going to own it at four or five hundred pounds back. So check these out, see if you're weak here, find your weaknesses, work on those. Cut.